obviously everyone knows about the massive layoffs that we saw really start from like October, November, December of 2022 uh, in, you know, January 23, February 2023, and even March. Like we saw the one that stays in my mind the most is definitely the January one. And just this number here highlights it for you, right? 89,000 people got laid off. We're going to go through these companies in just a second. I just want to say one thing. Not all of these people are engineers. However, they work in tech. And these could be PMs, TPMs, directors, managers, data science, whatever. All right. And I think that's the bigger picture here. And so why am I bringing up 2023 again, right? If you look 2024, everyone's like, well, what's it, Melky? There's only been 2,358 in January. Melky, you're, you're overreacting, Melky. You write shitty Go code, Melky. You look better with the mustache. All valid points, which I will agree to an extent. However, what I want to say here is we are 10% into the year. And what I want to say is like, I think we opened the floodgates. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about at all, if you are in the dark, I want to say that this article here started everything. If you don't know, Amazon's Twitch to cut 500 employees, about 35% of staff. The number that is more scary is the percentage. The number that stands out more to me is this right here. This could be any value. It's the percent relative that I think we should be talking about. 35% is, is a, not a joke. And I just want to reiterate, like this was not done just to do for the sake of doing it. Anytime they're challenged and they are in agreement to cut a third of the staff, something is forced. Something is bad. Obviously, I, I working at Twitch, this was a very scary couple days. If this was the only layoff that we saw this year, I would be probably streaming something else. I'd be watching a video, picking my nose and showing my dog off. But it's not. And why I want to iterate is that the floodgates were opened because it takes one article in a new year to gain people's attention on a topic. And I think this is what happened here because in the same breath, Amazon can need to lay off several hundred staffs in Prime Video and Studios. This layoffs right here has absolutely nothing to do with Twitch. Twitch is a standalone company owned by Amazon. Prime Video, Prime Studios are also individual entities owned by Amazon. And you can make the argument, okay, maybe this is an Amazon thing. Maybe this is an Amazon issue, right? I want to say another thing that really is impactful is if we just look at this line right here, right? All we need to do is just look a little bit right here to read it out loud together. The online retail behemoth last year cut more than 27,000 jobs as part of a wave of US tech layoffs after the industry hired heavily during the pandemic. 27,000 layoffs last year. I don't care what you think. 27,000 is a big number in, in, in any sort of a metric sense. And again, you could be making the argument, okay, maybe this is just an Amazon thing. It's not. You flip the page into Discord. Discord is laying off 17% of employees. This is literally happening right now as we speak. I know people that work at Discord. I'm very close to people that work at Discord. Very close. I train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with them, right? Like we, we are very close. They woke up to this news. They woke up to an 8 a.m. email stating this is what we're doing and then followed by another email if you're on the list or not. And Discord and Amazon have no correlation. There is no relationship between Discord and Amazon the same way Amazon's a relationship with Twitch. In an internal memo, CEO Jason Citron said the company grew headcount too quickly over the past few years. This is going to be a highlight topic. Discord is laying off 70% of its staff and a move that says CEO John Citron said is meant to sharpen our focus, improve the way we work together to bring more agility to our organization. The cuts were announced today to employees in an all hands meeting and internal memo I've obtained. They'll impact 170 people across various departments. Now, again, 170 compared to 27,000 compared to 500. Yeah, maybe it's not as much. We're focused on the percent relative here. We are focused on these values, so the 70%, the 35%. The these, I think, speak more volumes. Okay, let's continue. Based on Citroen's message to employees and my understanding of the business, Discord isn't in dire financial straits, though it has yet to become profitable. Working in tech is amazing, but a lot of the time, these companies are not profitable. Uber has not been profitable for so many years. I think it just started to be profitable, all right? All because you're getting these delicious succulent salaries does not reflect that you are that your company is profitable. These cuts are Discord's largest to date after the messaging app laid off 4% of staff last August. They add to layoffs that continue to super cross tech industry, including deep cuts at Google and Amazon this week. We can just read these four headers, all posted Jan 9, Jan 10, Jan 10, Jan 10. Google confirms it just laid off around a thousand employees or more than a thousand depends on the definition of few. Okay, Sean Hollister went actually crazy on this. Turns out Google's post-pandemic reckoning didn't just hit the Google hardware team responsible for Pixel, Nest and Fitbit products.
products. It's taken similarly sized bytes out of Google's core engineering and Google Assistant teams too. Google just confirmed to The Verge that's eliminated a few hundred roles in each of these divisions, meaning Google has confirmed layoffs of around a thousand employees on Wednesday alone, if we use a reasonable definition of few. Otherwise, was the only cuts we know about. We asked Google spokesperson Courtney Mancini to say if this was the complete and total number of job cuts in the third, in its in this round of layoffs, but she stopped replying at this point, only confirming existing reports. If this doesn't send a feeder down your spine, I don't know what can. This basically said that they might not be done. Amazon lays off over 100 employees, about 5% of workforce amid broader Amazon cutbacks. There you go. There's even more Amazon layoffs happening like right now. This was posted like a few hours ago. Uh, Duolingo. All right. This was posted the 8th of January. This did not get that much attention because like I said, I think the article that really gave the most attention to this entire topic is this one. Wow. Oh my God. Uh, the company which makes the game engine Unity is cutting 1800 jobs. Unity is undergoing yet another layoff and this time it's going to affect about 25% of its entire workforce. Now stay tuned. I want to show you guys why this could impact you. Okay. Why this impacts everyone. Even if you don't work in Unity, if you don't work at Google or Amazon, in a filing with Securities Exchange Commission, the company which makes a public game engine unity said it's making the cuts as it restructures and refocuses on its core business and to position itself for long-term and profitable goal. Again, we saw this in Discord. We're going to see this time and time again. Position itself for long-term profitable growth. When big giant tech companies lay off this sheer volume of people, it does a few things. One, obviously those impacted no longer have a job. Like, duh. Don't need me to tell you guys that, okay? What else does it impact? It impacts two other branches here that I want to discuss. Another one is if these companies are doing these layoffs, these companies are also removing the number of jobs available. What does this mean? There's less jobs in the market because obviously like there's also hiring freezes, all right? It's not like, oh, we're gonna fire a thousand people. Now we have a thousand jobs open. That's not the case. That's not, it's not like a thousand people were low performers or low expectations. It's a business decision to either remove a product or remove teams entirely. So it's not like, oh, we had a thousand bad people. We're gonna have, we're gonna hire, rehire a thousand more people. It's, it's no, like they've eliminated these jobs from the pool. These jobs no longer exist. And here's the third factor I want to add on to this, right? These people impacted have now just joined the, the race competition pool. So now there's even more people competing for job openings. And again, go into job point two, there's less job openings. There's less job openings, but there's more people that need jobs. That to me is very scary. I have all the confidence in the world that everyone impacted is, is capable and strong and a good engineer, a good person in tech. I, I'm very much in that position that everyone affected by Amazon, by Twitch, Audible, Duolingo, Near, Discord, Google, Unity are all capable individuals. And now you have to compete not only with the existing market, but with these new influx. Now, where am I going with this? Remember how I talked about 2023 and how I really emphasized 2023 for a little bit here? The reason why I continuously harp on 2023, specifically a percentage percentage of these people are still in the job market. So the argument I made here, the argument I made that people who are impacted are in the pool. These people are also from 2023. The people who were impacted back in 2023. And like, let me get the exact value here for you guys. Okay. So in 2023 alone, 260, like 262,000 people in tech. It's not that like you get fired and, and, or let go laid off. I'm going to, I'm going to use the word laid off. It's more appropriate, right? I want to be very sensitive to what happened. The people who got impact and laid off. It's not like in 60 days. It's not like in a week. Like this takes months and in certain extents years, man. Looking at the looking at straight facts, right? Like obviously we see a lot of companies in January. We see a lot of them like, but I want to just kind of be a little like a, a lot of these companies are not at the same scale as other companies. In my opinion, the th the, the company that really opened the floodgates is is the Twitch article here. That's my that's my opinion. Um just because it was so startling it, it, the thing about this article, I think it impacts so many people in tech, whether you are a uh, viewer of other tech creators, whether you watch people on tech who program, whether you follow Twitter, like Twitch is so integrated to the tech space. <laughs>